He's just licking his fur out of his chest. There's my two little boys, Charlie and Jackson, the brothers. Charlie's very sick. Jackson, how are you, buddy? You guys are good boys. Charlie has a pain patch on, so we have to keep it covered. Then he'll have another one after his surgery. Then he'll be all better, maybe. Alright, today is December 7th, 2016. And this is my little Charlie boy. He's one and a half years old. He's a little kitty that's been sick for the last month. Gone to the vet five times. Nobody's been able to figure out what was wrong with him until he went the last time. We took him to a different place. They had to put him under. And, uh look inside his mouth we thought there was something with his mouth his teeth and when they checked him out they found out he's got uh, basically the worst thing a kitty could have wrong with his mouth they diagnosed him with stomatitis which is uh, it's like an immune thing where you your body rejects your enamel on your teeth and causes a bunch of sores inside your mouth that are really painful. It's one of the most painful things a kitty can go through and uh, it will kill the kitty if you don't get it treated fairly soon. I mean usually they just stop eating and die and that's what he did. He stopped eating at least four or five different times when we first brought him in. They diagnosed him with an upper respiratory thing because he had a little fever and they gave him an antibiotic and some fluids and came home and he ate a little bit. Three days later he wouldn't eat again so he's back to the vet then back home then back again then back home. Five different times finally we decided to do a, go to a different vet so they could figure out what the heck's going on because the other place just couldn't do it. So this vet said that he's going to have to uh, get all his teeth pulled out in order to get rid of the stomatitis because he's allergic to his teeth basically. So they all got to go, roots, all the teeth, all the roots and all the bad tissue. So he's going to go see a specialist, a dentist that has the right equipment. He's going in tomorrow, and they're probably they're going to look at him and then figure out if they're going to yank him all out tomorrow or he's going to come back next week and do it. Depends on how he's doing and what all the tests show. But he's just a sweet little boy, only one and a half years old, and there's nothing I wouldn't do for him. I want him to get back to his old self. I want him to feel good again. 
They had a fentanyl patch on them for the last five days. We just took it off last night. He was in so much pain. They had to give him fentanyl. So he's he's going to get better. There's an 80% chance if they pull all his teeth that it'll cure him and he'll never have it again. But there's also a 20% chance that it won't work completely and he'll have episodes where it flares up again and he'll have to go on prednisone and pain pills and other stuff and it'll clear it up maybe and then but they said that he'll be able to live and uh, once they get those teeth out it'll be a lot better even if it flares up again it'll be just short term and they'll treat it and it'll be gone in a week or so and it won't come back for a while hopefully that's the case and yeah he's been sick for about a month but he's he's feeling a little better now he's doing a little play play things here he uh, he's been wrestling with the kitten a little bit Frankie boy Frankie likes to play with anyone and everyone and everything and Charlie just wants to rest for now once he gets back to normal, he'll play. Right, Charlie? 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 You're gonna get better. Okay. We'll do an update. I've been watching him 24 hours a day, basically. When he had that patch on. Oh, you're going for the food, huh? <laughs> Knocking the food around. Yeah, when he had the patch on, we had to make sure he didn't lick the patch. We had it covered up with a huge ace, ace bandage. But we had to make sure he didn't pull it off, so... And he did good. We had to babysit him, though. Pretty much 24 hours a day. We had two shifts. Two 12-hour shifts. <laughs>